Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring extended ACLs scenario 2. Friends, before that, if you like to get my future video info into our Gmail, you can subscribe this channel right now. Well, uh, coming to our packet tracer, here we can see our addressing table. Also, we will uh, go through the objectives of this packet tracer activity in part 2 1 configure apply and verify an extended numbered ACL in part 2 reflection questions just we will go through the background of this packet tracer activity in this scenario devices on one LAN are allowed to remotely access devices in another LAN using the telnet protocol besides ICMP all traffic from other network is denied we will come to part 2 1 Configure, apply and verify an extended numbered ACL. Configure, apply and verify an ACL to satisfy the following policy. Here are the policies. Telnet traffic from devices on the 10.1.1.117.32/28 network is allowed to devices on the 10.1.1.117.0/27 networks. ICMP traffic is allowed from any source to any destination. All other traffic to 10.101.117.0 slash 27 is blocked. Well, we will move to step 1. Configure the extended ACL. From the appropriate configuration mode on RTA, use the last valid extended access list number to configure the ACL. Use the following steps to construct the first ACL statement. So here they are giving all the instructions. The last extended list number is 199. The protocol is TCP. The source network is 10.101.117.32. Here we have seen that what they specified. Right. And the wildcard can be determined by subtracting 255.255.255.240 from uh, this 255.255.255.255. Right. The destination network is 10.101.117.0. Yes, here we have seen that. Then the wildcard can be determined by subtracting 255.255.255.224 uh, from this uh, uh, submit to mask 255.255.255.255. The protocol is telnet. What is the first ACL statement? Write this statement we will give directly uh, into this uh, router. Coming to our router RTA. Enable configure terminal. Here we have to give access list. And here we have to use the last uh, number. Mm, extended list for the extended list. That is 199. Here we can see that. And now here we are going to give. We are going to permit. We are going to permit uh, the protocol mentioned it's a TCP. Yes, here we can see that transmission control protocol. And you now we are going to give a source address 10.1.1.117.32. Right. Next we have to give the wildcard bits 0.0.0.15. Now here we are going to give a destination address 10.101.117.0 and now we are going to give a destination wildcard bits that is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.31 right oh here we given one zero extra right uh, yes 31 Next, we will see that here we are going to permit telnet. So, here we can uh, use a match only packets on a given port number that is uh, EQ. And here we can see that telnet. Yes, so here we can see our uh, uh, command what we have to give. I'm going to copy this. Next is ICMP is allowed and a second ACL statement is needed. Use the same access list number that is 199 to permit all ICMP traffic. 
regardless of the source or destination address. What is the second ACL statement? In use the any keywords, right? So we will come back to our RTA, and here we are going to use access list with the same uh, number 199. And here we can see we are going to permit. Uh, we are going to permit ICMP. Yes, here we can see that. And uh, any source host, so we can give any. And any destination host, we can give any. Coming to C, all other IP traffic is denied by default. Yes, exactly. Uh, coming to step 2, apply the extended ACL. The general rule is to place extended ACLs close to the source. However, since access list 199 affects traffic originating from both networks. Uh, here we can see that 10.101.117.48/29 and 10.101.117.32/28. The best placement for this ACL might be on uh, interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 in the outbound direction. What is the command to apply ACL 199 to the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 interface? Coming to our topology, here we can see the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 in this router RTA. Uh, anyway, we will give that command in this router. We have to go to that interface. So, interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2, it's 2, right? Here we are going to give IP access group the number access list name or number 199 and it's out now we will come to step 3 verify the extended ACL implementation ping from PCB to all of the other IP addresses in the network if the pings are unsuccessful verify the IP addresses before continuing right here we can see all the IP addresses we are going to ping to these addresses uh, from this PCB coming to command prompt first of all we will get the IP address of the in, uh, interface gigabit third zero slash zero uh, in the router RTA ping to this interface we will get the address yes we are getting the replay now we will come to the next address, we will copy this address. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will come to gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 on the router RTA. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will try to PCA and to SWC. Yes, we are getting the replay. And finally, we will try to the switch 117.2. Yes, we are getting the replay. Coming to B. Telnet from PCB to SWC. That means uh, coming to the topology from this uh, device PCB to the switch SWC. Right? The password is uh, Cisco. So before uh, coming to that, we will get the IP address of SWC. Coming to PCB, command prompt. Here we are going to give uh, Telnet. And the target password is Cisco. Yes, we able to access uh, the switch with the help of Telnet service. Now we will come to D. Ping from PCA to all of the other IP addresses in the network. If the pings are unsuccessful, verify the IP addresses before continuing. Right, we are going to ping from this PCA to uh, all the devices. Here is our addresses coming to PCA desktop command prompt we will get the IP address yes we are getting the replay to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 
now we will uh, try to gigabit to zero slash one that is uh, 117 dot 33 yes we are getting the replay now we will try to the interface uh, gigabit to zero slash 2 117 dot 1 yes we are getting the replay now we will try to PCB 117.35 yes we are getting the replay and finally to the switch 117.2 yes we are getting the replay coming to E talent from PCA to SWC the access list causes the router to reject the connection so we are going to talent from this PCA to this switch coming to PCA command prompt here we are going to give telnet to the target address trying to connect connection timed out or remote house not responding it's not connecting coming to F telnet from PCA to SWB the access list is placed on gigabit third zero slash two and it does not affect this connection right so we are going to do telnet from this PCA to the switch SWB coming to our addressing table here we cannot see the IP address of SWP we will get the IP address of SWP show IP interface brief and we will get the details here we can see the address I am going to copy this address coming to PCA command prompt and we are going to telnet to the switch SWB telnet and the target address trying to connect connection timed out or remote house not responding we will try once more no we are not getting here we are not getting the PCA uh, P, uh, this uh, talent service from PCA to SWP so obviously there will be um, a configuration mistake uh, we will uh, come to SWP and we will see the configuration here here we can see the address also we have to see the default gateway show IP interface we have to go to show running config so that we can see that yes here we can see IP, IP default gateway it's a 64 dot it's we can see it's starting with the 64 it's connected to the switch is connected to the interface gigabit third and zero slash one uh, in this router RTA we have to see the IP address of this uh, gigabit third zero slash one here we can see the address is uh, 10.1.1.117.33 so here are the, the default gateway they set incorrectly so we have to set the correct default gateway here yes so we will come to that to configure terminal here we have to set the default gateway not default we have to give IP exactly right now we have to give the correct default gateway here now we will check it to show running config yes here we can see now we'll come back to PCA command prompt and we will uh, try the telnet connection now yes password is Cisco yes we are getting the switch SWB now now we will come to G after logging into SWB do not log out right we did not do that here we can see that right uh, now telnet to SWC right so from this uh, uh, SWB we are going to telnet to SWC that means we are going to bypass right so we will get the IP address of SWC here and we will try here we have the option telnet then we have to give the target 
yes it's prompted for the password cisco yes we able to access swc coming to part 2 reflection questions how was pca able to bypass access list 199 and telnet to swc yes so here we have seen uh, two steps first of all uh, from pca we accessed this uh, switch swp with the help of talent service then after that from this uh, swb that means uh, through pca we try to access swc and uh, we able to access that swc uh, with the help of talent service next is so the second question what could have been done to prevent a pca from accessing swc indirectly while allowing PCB telnet access to SWC yes here we can uh, do one thing uh, we can create an access list to 199 uh, that should uh, deny telnet traffic from this network that is a 10.1.1.117.48 and we must place uh, this uh, access list to this uh, interface uh, gigabit authority 0 slash 0 in this router RTA great it was a simple packet tracer activity uh, configuring extended ACLs uh, scenario 2 friends if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity uh, please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and once again if you like to get my future uploading video info into our gmail you can subscribe this channel right now thank you